What is my first uh, Dollar Tree haul of 2022? I hope um, your Christmas was wonderful and your New Year's um, celebrations were great. Um, so now we're ready to dive into 2022. And um, so a little bit different today is I do not really have eyeshadow on, so that's why I feel like I look very different. And also I curled my hair with the flat iron, which I never do. I usually do it with like a, a large barrel curling iron. And so it looks really different to me. It's not as, I don't know, as textured, as curly as it normally is. Um, my hair is actually naturally straight. Um, so occasionally I'll wear it straight and on occasion I will curl it um, just to have something different. But I feel like I look really different today. Um, and I do not know why I'm explaining this to you all. I'm sure you all are not interested. Y'all came here for a Dollar Tree haul, I'm assuming. So with all that being said, let's dive in and get out of the um, intro that you're probably not interested in terms of like my hair and makeup. Okay, so today, y'all are probably gonna be shocked, but I found socks. Yes, socks at the Dollar Tree. Um, you already know, and I probably don't have to say it anymore at this point, is I love, love, love socks, and I especially like them at the Dollar Tree. I don't know why I'm a fan of socks, um, but um, it's just something that I pick up all the time I may not even need them, but it's always something that you're gonna use, and I just think they're super cute, and so I always pick them up. Another thing that I'm obsessed with, if you'll see them, like my, my intro, I did a little bit of video in my house, um, and I'm gonna start taking all the Christmas stuff down today. Um, I'm like obsessed with baskets. Like, I don't know why, but every time, like I go to a home decor store, you know, at home, um, home goods, uh, what is another place? Hobby Lobby. Anywhere they sell baskets. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed. I have several baskets in my room. They're in my nightstands. There's two of them there. They're all over the place. They're in the, um, what is it? This thing here, this shelving here. Um, it's just something that I'm super obsessed with and I pick them up all the time constantly. It's like, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> which is good. Like if you like to get organized, but there's a point to where you have too many and you don't really need any more. Um, I don't know where that point is. So I'm curious to see if you guys have like something where you're obsessed, you keep buying something, you don't need it, but if you see it somewhere, you make a beeline for it and you feel like you have to pick it up even though it's more like a want than a need, it's just like an obsession. So me, it's baskets and also socks. So back to the socks, y'all, I'm getting off track here. So I found these cute socks, love that they have the alternating um, stripes here with the different colors, love the colors that they chose. So there's kind of like a mauve and then like a peachy pink kind of color and a white. So that's for the first pair. And then you get a second pair, which is a heather gray color. So I love, love these, love the colors that they come in. And so I picked them up. They had these in a variety. They also had them in like shades of teal um, with gray. And I also picked up these that are polka dotted. So in this situation, we're getting like a, what is this color? It has a name, I'm sure. I can't think of it at this particular moment. But the sock is kind of heathered and it has, again, the polka dots, a dark gray polka dots. The other side of the sock or the second pair is a dark gray and then you have that color in the heels, which is like a fuchsia. Um, yeah, I kind of like fuchsia. Okay, so that's the color we're gonna go with. Okay, so something that I picked up that is super useful, especially this time of the year, um, I'm gonna start picking up as I go along, cause like I said, one of my New Year's resolutions was to um, like start buying Christmas throughout the year, so that way by the end of the year, I'm already ready. And um, the, the gift baskets that we created were like a huge hit. They turned out so beautifully. I should have filmed it. Um, it was like, you know, like I said, I, we like wrap gifts at the last minute, and um, I really wish that I would have filmed it because there was a lot of pretty baskets, a lot of good ideas. Um, so what I'm planning to do is pick up as many of these at the Dollar Tree as I can. Now they used to sell um, shrink wrap, like that would shrink with a blow dryer. I have not been able to find this in a long time. And this doesn't say that it does that. I've not tested it, um, but it used to say 
Um, they had this kind and then they had a second kind of uh, basket bags that you could heat it up with a blow dryer and it would tighten around the package. I don't think this is a type because the instructions aren't on there and it doesn't indicate that it is. So this, what I love about it is they're fairly large and you get two of them. And so I'm just gonna start picking them up um, right now because you know if you i'm planning to do like a valentine's day uh gift basket for mom you have father's day coming up um birthdays uh, christmas of course and then of course easter baskets which i want to talk a little bit more about here in a little bit but i'm picking up for that purpose and you're getting in essence two for a dollar now i have uh purchased these at other stores um matter of fact i've gotten them at michael's and they are not a dollar 25 um I want to say I pay like four or five dollars for something very similar um, that basically does the exact same job. Um, in that case, they were the kind of shrink, but if you can get them for a dollar twenty-five, like you know, why why would I buy them there um, when it, I get them for like a third or fourth of the cost? So just say if you're in the market, you're gonna be doing some gift baskets. Head over to Dollar Tree and pick some of those up. This y'all is super cute, um, and I do have a micro USB. Um, that I connect to a brick. Now the brick is not from Dollar Tree, but the USB uh, cord is. And it works really well. The phone charges very quickly. I've never had an issue with it. Um, so I've never had an issue with their USB uh, cables. That's just me. Um, so with that being said, I came across this cutie right here. So it is a micro USB cable. I'm sure that they had it in other varieties. I didn't dig um, through the little stack. Um, but what I can tell you is, in terms of like the type of cable that it is, um, I'm pretty sure they have other kinds. So if you have the kind that go with Apple um, or other different types of phones, um, I'm pretty sure they have those also. Um, but I picked this one up because, duh, it has a coffee cup on here and this is cute. And I am a big fan of coffee. I have to have coffee every single day of my life, even when I don't go in to work. You know, usually I need um, like coffee to to function, to perk up, to be talkative, to be outgoing. Because if not, I'm just sitting here like a little, like a bump on a log. And I remember going into the office, you know, you're waking up at like five in the morning, you got to commute through traffic. And my staff would buy me coffee and have it sitting on my desk because they knew that like, okay, we need her to be perked up and be, you know, uh, talkative and friendly. And coffee does that for her. So we're gonna have it ready before she even gets in here. Hi, Linda. I have not forgotten that you guys have picked me up coffee. So um, every morning, and I do that for myself now. So before I even go into work, I already have my coffee, so I can already be perked up and ready to hit the road. I think this is so cute. This is the most adorable thing ever. Um, not literally, but figuratively speaking, this is just so cute. And so I had to pick it up. Now I came in other varieties. I picked one more up to show you guys. And so what I'm thinking of doing is I had a couple ideas, like, I don't know, just building up here. So I want to do like a chocolate coffee, uh, chocolate and coffee, not chocolate coffee, but slash chocolate slash coffee gift set um, and like pick up all kind of things that are related to that and put a little gift basket together and do it as maybe part of a giveaway. Or um, I also want to do an adult Easter basket because, you know, um, and I don't mean adult, I mean, you know, I mean adult, like stuff that adults would like, not adult in that way, but you know, things that adults would like to get, um, because you know, kids get Easter baskets, why can't we get Easter baskets, you know, us as adults, we work hard, we pay bills, um, uh, I do taxes, don't, don't I deserve an Easter basket, shit, oops, did I say that, um, I feel like we should get Easter baskets, I may have to bleep that out, um, so, I want to put together an Easter basket for adults and then do it as part of a giveaway. So I'm curious to see what y'all's thoughts are. Okay, so another version of the micro USB cable is the, the adorable hot dog. So if you're not a fan of coffee, you're like, no, I don't get that whole, you know, that whole vibe. I'm not a coffee kind of drinker. Maybe you're a hot dog kind of person. This is so cute. And not only is it adorable, um, it's a great gift for not just, everybody has a phone, come on now, like almost everybody has a phone. Um, you're in the minority if you don't have one. So with that being said, um, this will make a cute little gift to pick up for someone, you know, almost of any age, you know, teens, tweens, adults, 
seniors, anybody, because you're going to need to charge your phone at some point and you're going to need a cable to do it or if you're uploading videos or whatever. So this is a great thing to have and you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So that's still a really good deal. Okay, chocolate. So remember, we're putting together or I'm planning to put together a cute little chocolate sa slash coffee gift set. And so I came across these. Um, it says milk, mini milk chocolate bars. We are getting four in the packaging. Um, it says happy 14th of February, happy Valentine's. Look at the packaging and how cute this is. And those gorgeous. And the, you know, they're in gold foil. And then you have that little paper wrapping with the beautiful little designs on there. And so, um, and there's four different designs y'all. So we have this one, which is a bouquet of hearts. And then this one, the trio of different hearts. Here's a large grouping, um, but not a, not a balloon bouquet. And then this one here, another trio, but different designs. So these are super cute. And I was going to make my mom a Valentine's day, like gift set. Um, and so I'm kind of building up on that, what I plan to put in there. Um, I'm, everything is not going to come from the Dollar Tree, but a lot of this stuff will. So whatever I get from the Dollar Tree, I'll show. The other stuff that I get elsewhere, I won't show for the simple fact that I want it to be a surprise and she probably watches the videos on occasion. So hi, Mom. Hi, Dad, too. Hi, Dad. In case Dad is watching. Okay, so I'm sure that a lot of you guys have on your New Year's, um, what is it called, your the list that we write up that we probably don't keep resolutions resolutions so a lot of it is maybe to be more organized to do maybe you journal um you know if you do journaling or if you work out of an organizer um or maybe you're doing more bible you say you know what i'm gonna read the bible more i'm gonna study it more in depth y'all the place to stop at first to get yourself organized for, you know, for those thoughts, maybe you're a college student, you're a high school student. These are great tools that you can use in the office, in a classroom setting, as well as, you know, at home. So these will help keep you organized. And not only will they help keep you organized, they're super cute. So you have the little flags here. Look how pretty they are with the striping, the, you know, alternate colors, the striping. You have these that you can write on to do today, this week, to remember. Look how cute these are. So you're getting, um, how much are we? How much are we getting here? 58 pieces. So if you don't like this set here, there are other varieties. You know, if you're not a big fan of, you know, this particular design, um, they have other ones that you can choose from, but I like the little arrows too, the little dots. Um, just so cute. These are so cute. And on the back, you have another sheet of the same thing. So, um, again, there's 58 pieces and at a dollar 25, this is a steal because if you go anywhere else, like Michael's Hobby Lobby, no hate on them, no hate on them. Love those stores. I'm just saying that if you try to buy planning stickers, um, or for studying and the like, they're not a dollar 25. Um, they're usually like, you could see something very similar to this be like two 99, and up. And why pay that when you can get these for a dollar 25? All right. I feel like I'm going to cough. I'm going to put this on pause real quick. Okay, y'all. So basically, like, for the first time in a long time, last night, the temperature actually dropped here in the Houston area because Christmas was a balmy 83 degrees, super humid, super hot, very unchristmas like or what one would think, you know, the... Um, the quintessential Christmas would be. So last night, the um, it dropped, I think, into the 30s. Um, so it's super cold today. And so you can actually wear a sweater and a jacket and, you know, like a beanie and maybe even a scarf and gloves in Houston and not look completely crazy. Because any other time, it's, it's, it's hot, it's humid over here. And so this is a rarity. Um, and with that being said, the folks I live with, aka my sons, um, they're always hot. It's, I don't know, it could be like, 20 minus 20 out there, which never happens, but you know, it's cold and these people will run the air conditioner. And so where my bed is positioned, the air conditioning vent like blows in my face and you know, I don't mind the air conditioner. I just don't want the air conditioner blowing my face. So now I like have like a very dry, you know, dry throw, kind of like a dry cough. So anywho, yeah, I had to put the video on pause for that reason. Okay. So without, you know, another long explanation that y'all probably have no interest in. But let's talk about something else that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, which are these. These are so cute. Now, I should have gone through the trouble looking this up because I do know I have, I have seen like one other YouTuber, maybe another one, 
uh, find these and haul these. And I know these things are not a dollar twenty-five. I want to say they were like seven or eight dollars. These are—it's a three-pack of reusable makeup removing rounds. Now, um, these are by the brand SayHello.com, and I'm probably mispronouncing this, but this is how it's spelled, and this is our website. Um, so to me, it says say hello, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and these are supposed to be, you know, what you use to remove your makeup. What I really love about these is they're 100% washable, machine washable. So you can throw them in your washing machine and wash them. Now, me personally, I do not like using um, makeup wipes to remove my makeup um, because I break out very easily and um, I just don't feel like it's getting my makeup off truly. I've seen people use the wipes to take their makeup off. And that's great if it works for you. So I plan to give these away to someone um, who does use this kind of stuff. I, after I wear makeup, I literally have to wash it off with like, you know, facial cleanser, soap, what, you know, facial washing stuff and water, you know, cause I just, I don't like sleep with makeup on. It's extremely rare that I will do that. Like rare, rare, rare. Um, cause like I said, I'll break out and I, it feels like ugh, gunky, gross. And so I don't feel like these take makeup off, but a lot of people swear by them. A lot of people use them and a lot of people highly, highly review them and covet them. Um, you know, when you see them, they pick them up and these are a great deal for $1.25, especially if they're costing like seven or $8 online or more. From what I hear, I should have looked it up and I will look it up and then I'll put the price up here because I'll verify that. Um, so if you like this kind of product, I'm showing it to you because you may like it and you may not have problematic skin like I do. And you may be able to use this and get away with it and it cleans you. So if you, that's you, be on the lookout for those, y'all. Um, <clears throat> just something to uh, be on the hunt for, you know? You know, kind of like, like that. All right. So another thing that I picked up, I haven't found a really cute one in a while, um, which is a little notebooks. Y'all know if y'all have watched me for a little while, I am a big fan of Dollar Tree notebooks, little journals, especially Jot. Jot puts out a lot of cute ones, and this happens to be a Jot one. And since I'm putting together a little tropical gift set, I don't know if I'm going to include this because I feel like I want to keep like a green kind of color thing going on. It's my vibe, uh, maybe a little bit of pink. And this one has a lot of multiple colors on here, so I may use this for something else you know give it to someone include it in a giveaway so the jury's still out on this um, but i picked it up because it's so cute and it says fresh so maybe you're gonna put in you know some fresh ideas in here um you know again if you're a student now maybe you don't like this little you know um slices of citrus pattern you can always remove it and here's another cover that it has which are these alternating stripes of various colors so Pages are lined, you're getting 60 sheets, 120 if you're counting like double-sided. Um, so yeah, a really great little notebook, fits small, you know, small enough to fit in a purse, your backpack, take to school, take notes, um, take it to the office, jot your little notes down. Or if you're doing some kind of, like I said, Bible study, you're organizing, really cute. And you know, not pocket size, but small enough to, you know, kind of uh, tote around, okay? All right, <clears throat> nails, y'all, nails. Um, now they, y'all, they do last for me, the faux nails, the sick on nails, they do last upwards of like two weeks. I have a really bad habit of like chewing on my nails, um, that I've developed here over the past year. It's, you know, like from nervous energy, you know, trying to get rid of nervous energy. And so they do normally last two weeks with the, the super glue, which I'll show you that I get from the Dollar Tree. I have some right here. So it looks like this. They come in a pack of two for $1.25. And this can be used on nails. It indicates it on the package. So normally they would last like upwards of two weeks, but because I um, chew on my nails um, or try to chew them off, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm changing them out pretty frequently. But at $1.25, I can afford to do that, you know? And here is another cute little set. Now I feel like this seven nail is replacing Sassy and Chic. You know, I feel like they're kind of phasing Sassy and Chic out and they're rebranding it um, in store because this packaging looks like Sassy and Chic uh, packaging. And I think they're just renaming it and it's really the same thing. So same thing with that B color or B pure or whatever it is that, that B something. I feel like it's the same thing because the packaging looks 
you know, the design of it, the letters, the font, everything looks very similar to those brands. So I feel like that's what's happening there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So with these, I picked them up because they're so Valentine-esque, you know, you have the little heart with the arrow. I love the black and white nail design. Now you are getting 12, so you get two extra ones, which is gonna be a pinky one and a thumb one. They give you two extra of those for sizing. So I uh, love these. Now, if you're like, you know, you have, everybody's hands are different. Everyone's fingernail beds are different. So you can always pick up two, you know, just to make sure you have the right sizing for you. One always works for me. Um, you know, I just make it work, I don't know. Um, but it's still a really good deal at $1.25. So even if you're buying two, that's $2.50. You're not gonna go into a nail salon and get your nails done for $2.50. Okay, we'll say three seventy-five dollars because you bought the glue. Okay, three seventy-five. dollars you're not going to walk into any nail salon anywhere uh, and pay $3.75 and to get your nails done. So this is a great deal. So I took them out of the package so you can see them a little bit more. This one says love and you couldn't really see it inside the package. So again, the white one with the little arrow, here's some little hearts and some arrows. And I just think they're super adorable and the timing is so perfect for Valentine's Day. Now, if you're putting together a gift basket or little gift set for you know your friends your co-workers mom aunt sister you fill in the blank um and you want to do it on a valentine's day theme these are so cute and these can be found at the dollar tree and because this in, it seems to be an in-store dollar tree brand that's what it's appearing to be for me um you should be able to find it at your store okay y'all little diy craft kids okay so if you're really crafty or if you have, you know, little kiddos that are gonna be coming over, or maybe you host like a, um, what is it, Sunday school, uh, you have your own classroom, your teacher, uh, you have grandkids, nieces, nephews, you're having a, uh, I don't know, an overnight stay, and you're gonna have a bunch of kids over, the Dollar Tree is definitely the place to go to pick up crafts to keep the kids entertained. Um, why? Because they put out cute stuff like this, loving the font. So it's a little wooden shape that says love. Here's the back of it if you want to see it a little bit better. Okay. And it includes ribbon. So you can probably hang this or decorate it some kind of way, create a bow, all these beautiful sequins, and then these glue on stickers. Um, so it says basically that it comes with one piece plywood character, which is the love. You're getting 2.2 ounces of sequins. Uh, sequins, one piece ribbon, three styles of gem stickers, and you can create your own little design. This is also really cute if you're into crafting and um, you want to, you know, you decorate your own Christmas tree, you alternate it by holidays. I can't keep up with that stuff, y'all. I barely wanted to put it up for Christmas, and now I'm barely wanting to take it down. That's the reason I didn't want to put it up because now I got to take it down. And now all the stuff has to go back into the attic and it has to be organized a certain kind of way. So it's a lot of work. And so changing out every holiday, I wish I were that person. I'm not. But I do admire that people do that. So if you're one of those, this can make for cute little ornaments on your Valentine's Day tree. Or if you're giving away a gift and you want to have like a little, what do they call it? Like, um, there's a word for it. Of course, I cannot come up with it. You know, like a little embellishment for your gift. You're wrapping a really pretty gift and you need a cute little embellishment. You can keep this nude, the wood nude, just as it is, because that's beautiful just by itself. Maybe with a little gingham ribbon here, add a little bow. Um, or you can bedazzle it and then add it to your little package and make it part of a cute little gift. So those are just some ideas for you on that. Okay, and I'm down to my last three items. So if you've stayed so far, Please say hello. I've been, I stay here till 23, 21. No, it'll be further in the video because of the intro. So just say hi. I've been here past the little um, craft set. And I so appreciate y'all for that. Y'all do not know. Okay, stickers, stickers, stickers. If y'all love stickers or you have a little kiddo that loves stickers or you like crafting, how gorgeous are these stickers? If you do friend mail, um, if you maybe you want to pick up a pen pal this year and you want to start writing letters back and forth, how cute would it be to decorate and embellish your cute letters uh, with these adorable hearts? And look at the varieties of them, gorgeous. So this one says shine and you have a little star. We got polka dots here, love. These are absolutely gorgeous. And you can add them to the corner of frames. So if you have a little picture frame, you know, like what I have here all over the place, 
Um, you can add a, a one to the corner of it, put a little bit of um, Mod Podge on it to protect it, and now you've got your own, um, you know, customized picture frame, and these are so cute. Um, if you make your own greeting cards, hello, Dollar Tree. These are still a really good steal. I mean, they're a steal because stickers elsewhere cost more than a dollar, more than a dollar twenty-five. Um, it, literally everywhere, everywhere you go, you're going to pay more than that outside of like either the 99 cent store. And I've seen them more expensive there or the Dollar Tree. This is a really good price. And then they put out these cuties. So dog lovers everywhere, because it seems to be tied around dogs. And I am a dog owner. Um, uh, so we have a dog, um, which on occasion will appear in videos right now. He's in the dog house, so to speak. We, um, we, and he's well behaved. He's very well behaved y'all. He does, he never goes into, uses the bathroom in the house. He knows where he's allowed and not allowed. Um, he's very, he doesn't chew up stuff. He doesn't scratch up things. Um, he doesn't tear up the yard. He doesn't run away. So what he did do today is I left the house this morning. And when I came back, he had gotten into the trash. Um, and I'm like, you act like we don't feed you. You, we feed you, you're, you're fed, you know, you're always like, no matter how much you feed this animal, he's like a bottomless pit. He's always begging for food and somebody trained him to do that you know who you are you you know what you did because he didn't used to do this he was not he was not um what is it he didn't beg for food um until they he was started they started giving him table or cooking him food cooking him food like going to the store and buying him chicken and turkey and preparing it for him and giving it to him from the stove you know like cooking it and then giving it to him so now he begs now he begs for food and he acts like he's starving to death so what happened was he got a taste of people food and he's not so enthused. He's not enthused with dog food anymore. And so he, he begs and it's, it's kind of annoying a little bit because um, you're trying to eat and he's there making little googly eyes at you. Okay. So what he did was he dug in the trash and threw trash all over the kitchen and he thought I wasn't going to notice. And then he, you know, I get into the kitchen and I'm like, oh no, I know who did this. Because we didn't do it. I didn't do it. And my sons, who are in their 20s, certainly didn't throw trash all over the floor. And he's got a guilty look on his face. And um, I know that he did it. So he got chastised. I didn't do I didn't hit him or anything. He's, he's, he's just got chastised. And he knows he did wrong. So he's sulking somewhere. But in spite of all that, I'm just sharing that with you for y'all fellow dog, dog owners or maybe cat owners you know sometimes the pets act up a little bit and so he dug in the trash but we still love him he is he is a member of our family we adore him um and i thought these stickers were so cute so it says home is where the heart is you have all these different little house shapes so even if you're you know you don't have a pet there's a lot of these that you can still use for instance that one that one that one the little hearts there's only a few on here that um, indicate dog, which would be this one right here. And you have what looks like a, maybe an Irish setter or a golden retriever or something. Um, this one, the little paw print, love. This one can be, you know, versatile. This one's versatile. And then you have the little, look how cute that is. It has a little bone there. That is so cute. A little bowl. And it even has wood grain on it. Do y'all see that? The little design. Y'all, I've been on a talking fest. I don't know that I've showed you all that much products as it's been so much as talking. Um, a lot of coffee. Yeah, there's a lot of coffee. Okay, and my last little item that I picked up is this. So it's a gorgeous scallop container. And I picked up for a number of reasons. Um, I'm thinking about doing like either some kind of like candy bouquet with it you could do or um, you could do candy or such with little gifts. Um, or you could do it with fruit, you know, like an edible arrangement, something like that. Or you can do it with, you know, chocolate covered strawberries and you just buy the little bamboo, bamboo skewers at Dollar Tree and a little foam to stick in there. And you can hide the foam with that decorative shred paper, that crinkle paper, or you can hide it with tissue paper, or you can hide it with candies like they're showing here and just put something in the center to hold it in peace, uh, in place rather, um, also, you know what looks so pretty in here? Um, tulips, uh, hydrangeas, uh, my favorite flower of all time, peonies. I would love to see them in here, you know, um, and you can change them out periodically. And with this being plastic, you know, it's not something that's super expensive. 
Um, you could also, if you're having like a birthday party, a baby shower, uh, you're putting a brunch together for Mother's Day, you can make a gorgeous candy bar, a beautiful coffee bar, and use this to hold things um, in your candy, coffee, whatever your, you know, whatever little spreads you're putting out. Imagine what you could put in here. And they sell these in all different kind of shapes and varieties and heights and sizes. So this would be really great for as part of a candy bar. If you're doing something not, you know, you're not trying to put something, you know, like black tie or anything, you know, something on a smaller scale, but you still want it to look, you know, well put together. Um, this would be a really cute thing to include as part of a little, uh, like I said, a coffee bar, candy bar, your brunch setup. Um, you could put all kind of stuff in there or like i said just put flowers in there and change them out periodically um because you know right now everything's kind of dreary everything's kind of like you know dormant looking and grayish and you know you can bring in some vibrancy into your home okay so um with that being said this brings our dollar tree haul to a close and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you stay tuned till the end please say hello i stuck it out to the end um, thank you so much for um, spending your time with me. And if you are enjoying my, um, you know, my content, the stuff I'm bringing for, the products that I'm showing you, I hope you'll give this video a like and that you will hit the subscribe button because it really helps me out. It helps me to grow my channel and to, you know, want to continue to do this. Um, I have a lot of fun. I like doing it. But, you know, um, I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying it too. Um, and also, if... There's something you're obsessed with, you keep buying. I would love to hear about that as well. Thank you all for watching. I hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. And a very happy new year to all of you. Bye, guys.